Welcome to the Import File Name Template video. In this demonstration, we're going to show how the Import File Name Template can be edited to match your song files and get the best possible import. When you're importing from individual song files or files and folders, the Import File Name Template tells the software exactly how your song files are named. From the Import Song File Name Template dialog, we will click the Modify button to uh, bring up the Import File Name Template Editor. The Template Editor has three possible modes. Advanced Mode, Intermediate Mode, and Basic Mode. Advanced Mode is, is the simplest to use if you have a very good understanding of how templates work. To All the way to Basic Mode, which is the easiest to use if you have no understanding of how templates work. In advanced mode, you simply specify the exact template to use, uh, giving you the option to test that template with an actual song file. We'll go ahead and pick a song file from our hard drive and test the template and see how it works. The template that we have selected right now is just title and curly braces. The curly braces tell the uh, software that the that what's inside of it is actual data that's going to import. You have title, artist, track number, album, and ignore as possible uh, data elements that can be imported. In this particular case we're saying put the entire file name in the title and that's exactly what it did with that test song file. It shows no artist, no album, track is zero, and title is the entire file name. Disk number is always imported from the, the name of the folder the song is located in on your hard drive. So we're going to construct a few templates here to test against this particular song file to, to see if we can get the data to import more correctly. Okay, how about album, track number, artist, and title? Let's try that. Okay, now we see that artist is Elvis Presley, or Presley, comma Elvis. Title is Impossible Dream, comma The. Track is 3. Album is 01. And a disk number, of course, always comes from the name of the folder, which is also 01. So we can see that this template that we've selected would actually work quite nicely with our song file. And we could go ahead and click OK to select it. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to move to intermediate mode and demonstrate how you can use that mode, which is a slightly different way of, of specifying your song, t song file template. When we click intermediate mode from advanced mode or from basic mode, whatever file was selected as a test file is carried over into this mode. The software then attempts to break that file apart in the best way it can guess and tries to determine what the artist and the song title would be and most of the case most of the time you'll see that it actually guesses correctly but if it doesn't you can simply select from the drop downs for artist song title album or track number what the correct data from that file name is and the the software will then build the correct template for you as you can see below in step 4 it has already generated a preview of what it thinks the current song template would be uh, based on the input that you've given it, at which in this case is the input that it guessed for itself. You can see below in step 4 that we have 01 underscore dash underscore track number underscore dash underscore artist underscore dash underscore title. This is pretty close to the correct template except for one thing, and that's that 01 is in the template. And the template should never contain actual song data. And 01 is, the, in this case, the album that we want to use. So what we'll do here is you can either do, you can either check album and pick 01 from the dropdown. And you'll see in step 4 that the, the template has updated to replace 01 with the album and leaving the rest of it the same. Or we could opt to ignore that 01 if we didn't want to import it. So we, if we uncheck the in file name for album and then check ignore and select that same 01, 
now in, instead of an album uh, t tag, it's it replaced it with an ignore tag. Either one of them would work. The only difference in this particular case is instead of uh, importing that 01 from the song file name into the album field, it'll just ignore that data. The final mode is the basic mode. And if you're not, if you don't understand exactly how file name templates work, the basic mode will work most of the time, and and you don't have to worry about the, what the actual template is. What you're concerned with with basic mode is simply did the the template that it's trying right now work? As you can see, the same the same song file is in step one, and step two shows what the artist song title, album, and track number would be based on how the, fir the current template that the software is trying works. Basic mode works by a pilot songbook creator trying one of a number of common file naming conventions against your song file. And it, and it shows you the ones that match in order. So if we click try next, we'll see the other one that could possibly work. In this particular case, we can see by looking at it that artist, song title, album, and track number are not correct. So this particular template does not match our song file. If we click Try Next again, it would try the next one, or if it got to the end and it's tried all of the possible matches, we'll get a message. And that's exactly what we get. This message is telling us that we have tried every template uh, that could possibly match this song file and it reached the end. We have three options from this window. One is to abort, which will switch to intermediate mode. It shows that as recommended in that case because this is assuming that you have tried all of the templates, uh, that all of the common naming conventions, and none of them match. So the next best option is to try intermediate mode. In this particular case, we're, we're just doing a demonstration and we know one of the templates did match, so we're not gonna click abort. We could click retry, which would allow you to select a new song file and try again. We're not going to click retry because this, we know that the template works. The ignore button is what we're going to want to do, which starts over with the new first common template and allows you to cycle through them again if you wanted to. So it took us back to that very first template, uh, which properly extracted the artist, the song title, and the album, and the track number. We're going to click this is correct. And as you can see, the import song file name template updated to ignore underscore dash underscore track number underscore dash underscore artist underscore dash underscore title, which is exactly what the, the correct template would be for the song files that are in this particular collection. So if we click import, you'll notice that it imported all the songs in those particular folders and, it, and the artists and titles all imported correctly. For more information on how import file name templates work, please check the Pilot Songbook Creator help file, which, which outlines all three modes in specific details.